guys, welcome back. Gym intimidation, let's talk about it. So on every single workout video I post, I get questions from you guys about gym confidence, how to build up gym confidence, what are some tips I have, how to get more comfortable in a gym setting. So that's the basis of this video. Now I want this video to be helpful in the sense that you can implement these today, like right after watching this video, to hopefully feel a little bit more comfortable in a gym setting versus more of long-term things like self-love and self-confidence because I feel like those are things that you are just going to have to work on for the rest of your life. That is a 24-7, 365 days a year job. So I feel like that wouldn't be the most helpful route in this moment. I feel like a lot of people who would obviously find this video the most helpful are trying to get into the gym like today. So that is what this video is. Just some quick tips. They may seem a little bit obvious, but they are definitely things that helped me feel more comfortable in my gym journey in the beginning. So hopefully these little tips and little tricks will help you guys too. So you know how we do on this channel. Let's just get right into tip number one. Um, 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 um. What the what is going on? Tip number one, can you not see the obvious? So I did a little wardrobe change to show you guys tip number one, and that is get comfortable. Even though a gym setting is something I'm extremely comfortable in, that doesn't mean that I don't have days where I'm just not feeling so hot and I'm just not feeling it. We all know what times those are. When I go in my closet and I grab myself a big baggy jacket because everything I'm wearing is uncomfortable, I hate everything, you know, that time, put on some leggings and I'm already feeling a hundred times better. Not having to worry about what you're wearing, how it looks, especially if it's an outfit that is new and you haven't tested out yet, if it's it's squat proof, if it stays in place, if it's comfortable to train in, those could have to be the worst outfits to go in, especially when you already feel uncomfortable in a gym setting. That is probably going to be one of the main things that you are focusing on the entire time you're training and that is not what you want. And then I throw myself on a hat. Now I love the hat because it makes you lose a lot of that sight around you and what's going on around you. So it creates this tunnel vision so you can just concentrate on what you are trying to get done and less on what is going around you. And so for all of you who are trying to feel more comfortable in a gym, my first tip is definitely to make sure whatever you are wearing to the gym, you feel 100% comfortable in because there's nothing worse than being in an uncomfortable setting and then also feeling uncomfortable in what you're wearing. That is just a means for disaster. So grab yourself a baggy jacket, grab yourself a hat, and you will feel a million times more comfortable like that. Now that we're comfortable, we got on our baggy clothes, we got on our hat, we are all ready to go, feeling comfortable, feeling a little bit better, but not there yet. So tip number two is going to be loud music. This may seem a little bit obvious, but I had to make sure I threw it in there. If you are feeling uncomfortable in a gym setting, especially if you're training alone, do not make the mistake of not bringing headphones with you and not having music on hand. Loud music is probably right up there with feeling comfortable in what you are wearing. Loud music allows you to zone out everything going on around you. You can't hear jack squat, and that is what we want. Take your headphones, whatever you got, go ahead, put them in, throw on your station, whatever music you love that's got you feeling good in the gym, go ahead and start blasting yourself some music. I gotta even be honest, there are some days when I'm really just not having it and I'll go ahead and put in my headphones and turn my music all the way up before I even walk into the gym. This right here has to be my number one most recommended outfit to wear if you're trying to feel more comfortable in the gym. If you've got all of this going on, you are already a hundred times closer to feeling more comfortable in the gym and I can bet you on that one. <laughs> little bit of a wardrobe change and we're moving right into tip number three and that has to align with probably the most the most commented thing on my workout videos and that is how is your gym so empty I wish my gym was that dead etc etc you guys my gym is not that dead it's not that empty all day every day because then it wouldn't be open because they would be making no money obviously I choose to go when it's that dead I choose to go when it's that empty every single gym has a time of the day when they get a rush of people in usually it's the morning rush and the after work rush obviously this is gonna vary upon gym but I choose to go at a time of the day when I know my gym is going to be the least busy so all you have to do is go in and ask your the owners or ask somebody that works there hey when are the least busiest times in the gym that you 
notice. When you're signing up, you can ask them that. Even Google, I've noticed with a lot of businesses, you can just type in the business name on Google search and it'll also not only pull up all the information of the business, but usually there's a little thing that shows you a chart of when that gym is usually likely to be the most busiest. And according to my gym, I checked, it's pretty accurate. So you can even go by that if you don't wanna ask the people that work there. But you guys, go to the gym when it's not busy. That way you'll feel a little bit less intimidated to go in different areas of the gym that you may feel more intimidated at. Usually that's the dumbbell section, the cable section, like the weights area where most females feel intimidated to train at. If you go in when it's not as busy, you'll feel much less intimidated to go over there and try things out and get comfortable with the equipment when there's not a bunch of people everywhere and every single bench, every single cable machine, everything is taken. Now you may have to mess around with your schedule a little bit in order to work in a time for the gym that works with your schedule that is also when the gym is least busiest but that is definitely going to be worth it in the long run if it means that it will get you down the road feeling more comfortable in a gym setting you'll eventually get to the point to where it won't matter because you feel comfortable already and then you can go ahead and switch back to your old routine so go ahead mess around with your schedule a little bit figure out what times are least busiest at your gym work one of those times into your schedule and it'll be well worth it in the long run. Tip number four is definitely another major one, and that is to make sure that you go in with a plan. As fast as you sat in that car and decided to just walk in that gym and wing it and go into an uncomfortable situation with things you are unfamiliar with and got no idea what's going on, will be just as fast as you will turn around and walk back out of the gym and get back in that car and go straight home. You wanna have something that you can follow along with that gives each minute that you are in that gym purpose and gives you something to focus on and concentrate on because not only will that give you more confidence in what you are doing and that you know what you are going by and that is something that you should be doing but also again it gives you something to focus on so that way you're focusing less on everything else going on around you so whether you need to get a plan from somebody who is reputable and that is actually going to create you a good plan that will help you reach your goals follow along with my videos on my channel or somebody else's just make sure that you have some something to go by that you already had pre-written for yourself in your phone or pre-written by somebody else for you to follow. So that way, again, every single minute you're in that gym has purpose and it gives you more time to focus on you and less to focus on everything going on around you. Last tip I'm gonna give you guys is something that you'll have to develop over time, but you can at least start today. And that is to get to know the staff at your gym, whether that is scheduling a few personal training sessions with a trainer there, creating small talk with the staff, getting to know some of the staff members that work at the front desk a little bit better, or if you work at a smaller gym like I do, introducing yourselves to the owners or who works there. Whatever you got to do just to create a more familiar face in the gym setting. This is mainly a really big one. If you train alone if you don't have like a workout buddy or anybody with you nothing is worse than being in a place that you don't feel comfortable and not knowing anybody around you so at least building that relationship with the staff with a trainer there with just somebody there so every time you walk in the gym you see a familiar face or maybe there's somebody in there that is always working out in there every single time you are go up and introduce yourself and just create small talk and conversation and you may get yourself a workout buddy from that but think of it like the first day of school when you were like in elementary school or middle school the first thing you did when you walked into a new class on the first day of school was look for anybody that you recognize and know to sit next to just because it made you feel a little bit more comfortable in that classroom it's the same thing the next time you're in the gym or if you're about to sign up to a gym get to know the staff get a few personal training sessions get to know the tr a trainer there or if somebody is in there working out every time you are and they seem friendly go ahead introduce yourself just find yourself at least one person in the gym that you can get acquainted with at least on a hey how's it going basis and I promise you that'll help you at least feel a little bit more comfortable and so those are the five tips I'm gonna leave you guys with get comfortable get your baggy hoodies your baggy t-shirts get your hats get your loud music figure out the non busy times get a plan that you can follow and have some direction with and 
find a familiar face in the gym if you don't have somebody to train with. If you just even apply just one of those things to the beginning of your gym journey and trying to feel more comfortable in the gym, I promise you it will help at least a little bit. It definitely did for me and the combination of all of those is like a home run win. Definitely will get you on the road to success and feeling more comfortable in the gym. So I really hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.